Banking, making the rotation up top, sneaks past behind some tree line. Uh, Mel's in a little bit far here, could be an opportunity charge coming in. Puppy wants to go, he gets the bash, Yapsor's in position, but mid one didn't like the look of that dive. He backed off me while on the top lane, Zai committing and will find Kezi, that's the first blood. Yep. Puppy's gonna make his next move, this time towards bottom. Looking to dive Arteezy. Ideally, you'd love to see that Spirit Breaker moving with the Ion Shell on him, but not going to be happening this time. Kezi hugging the tower, playing defensively, does get charged, but Zai's already ready to cut this off. Gets the two-hero burrow, kills off Puppy, punishes him for his insolence. And mid one has to back away, so they commit both cores to this rotation. They're too beefy carries, and they might lose one of them here. Mid one and Viz, they have protection. No, they don't. Doesn't look like it, but it's been opening, and they just can't seem to do it, and in fact, they might not get one now, as EG are showing signs of a five-man rotation towards the top lane. The warding has been impeccable. I mean, yep. You mentioned the one ward bottom. They might be able to get Sumail here, though. This could be huge. He's a bit isolated from his team. The lone cow could be punished. Charging for Puppy gets the bash. Needs a little bit more. Kanka coming in with the torrent as well. Trying to lock him down. They need that shaker. He walks back in. He gets up the echo. He gets up the totem. He's going to kill mid one. Oh, not good. Not good for Secret. Stays alive, Sumail. The cojones on this one. Top of that right now. But you also have to bounce that with, you know, actually getting some farm. You can't just constantly not be farming it off of that. Look at the three hits, chunking crit down. The charge is going to get cancelled. I think that was a miscommunication uh, from Se Secret. Puppy was charging, and now the Blink Dagger reveal. Echo comes in, but that clink is pretty tanky. Not the easiest takedown, and will be alive. Yaps are there to break the lasso. Nicely played, and now trying to run away. The charge through. Puppy piled that crit back. Leave my pesky bone Fletcher away, he says. But, oh, Spear Breaker going to go down here. As Sumail comes in for round two, Fisher's there, it traps in mid one, almost but not completely. He squirms away, Clinks has been losing weight for a little he has left, and now Sai low in the river, but EG only losing the bat as a trade for the Spirit Breaker. No shapeshift this time. Sumail does not have Echo yet. He's gonna try to start with an Enchant Totem, Fisher comes through, hits the Dark Seer. That's not the target he wants. Now the Enchant Totem back up the Spirit Breaker, but I think the jig is up, and Sumail wants to get the hell out of dodge. Still, though, tanking some Searing Arrows, dropping low. He's still extremely, burrow. extremely durable, but pulled back into the vacuum. The boat, the pain for EG as they lose hey. two critical team fight here. As you can see, mid one again, charging. Zai is the next to be caught out, and this is where having those towers down is oh so sweet. But he's charging through a ward, so Zai is aware of the situation. But does it matter? MP's gonna get onto him. No teleport scroll on Zai. This could be trouble, even without the Spear Breaker actually connecting. One Searing Arrow, almost half his health down. MP wants to chase. He's committing for this. It's gonna take a couple of volleys of auto attacks to get the jump done. He time lapses out. Not quite in time. Meanwhile, and now MP in danger. He's on the run. Yeah, the Spirit Breaker charged through an entirety of EG, so he just died, and now they're gonna try to cut down EG. What a visual block! Traps MP in, Zakuchi's down, no time lapse, and he's gonna get burned down. Vacuum pull, torn! Huge Echo Slam to take down the Weaver. The bolt's gonna come in, they will take down Arteezy as a trade. Can they get a little bit more? Yapsor getting in position here for more Looks XC. For the X. Glimmers himself, finds the X here on Sumail, and will connect the torrent. Universe does have Black Hole along with a Blink. Secret gotta be careful not to group up. Yeps are sitting back one day. And it is just in time. He is able to do so now. Jumping forward, Puppy commits onto Sumail. Sumail is in trouble being overrun. EG's position has been completely compromised. Three down. Wait, how did that Black Hole on. How did that Black Hole cancel? I believe it was Yapsor. If they tuck back behind their tier twos. They go for the Roche now, but Lycan has a wolf in it. RTZ on point here with his micro. This is why. Bygone days, teams always bought a gem. And EG immediately smoke up. Lycan. Puppy breaks a smoke though, here we go. Zai's in first, he gets the burrow, it's only on one, and not really the easiest target to take down with Kezu having the mech, having the pipe, and the arrows come blazing in, taking out Zai quickly. Arteezy tries to man fight, but that's not gonna happen until Universe is there. The X was already committed, the vacuum though is there to cancel the black hole and now secret are on the warpath they're gonna turn for crit they look to bring him down big commitment from sunel the totem will end mp still though mid one stays alive a three for two and it's with all the ults expended they might lose sumail oh. two more auto techs Epsor. he's got he's not again. giving up the ghost yet on oh, the wait. chase he didn't quite get it off in time he had a vision he had a ward i'm not sure what happened there 
Yeah, Kezu really came out big in that fight as well. Also, they they initiated on the Darkseer with a pipe of Greaves. Like, that is not the best hero to start the fight on. EG still want to contest this, though, but Zai will be ushered away. Puppy's there with the charge. No siree, he says. Gets the bashes. Now the boat coming in Ooh. actually connects on Zai. The urn's there as well, but he's going to shrine up. Undining on the front door as he lays into this tier two. You can see Zai is trying to do it. That's a split pushing job here, Top, but he is being charged by Puppy. He might not actually be able to TP out. It looks like he's in a lot of trouble as the sentry gets deployed. They're going to nether strike him back. He are still in position. The damage is not the best from these two, but they slowly, slowly work the scorpion down. He burrows again in the tree. Meanwhile, in the river, the real fight breaking out as they've tried to get the power play going here. EG, though, still losing their nick, but pretty early in the fight. Big commitment already. They dive MP. He scurries away. The wolf's time is being wasted, and his ult's about to end as Puppy sees opportunity. Charging in. Gets denied by the fish. A mid one with the cleanup, you're melting probably. But X. On the flip side, the Necro Hulk minions also seem to be getting crushed. Yep. Clinks is happy to see those up. Yapsor has been missing a lot of his X Bolt combo, and now. He has a BKB though, they've got to completely change on him. The vacuum interrupts, and now mid one can turn if he needs to. Zai's low, the swarm hits him, and now Universe comes in. Decent to hero, black hole. Yapsor doesn't have a whole lot to deal with this, but the clicks is just positioning out damage into it. Still though, the team's getting overrun. Still is not BKB. Mid one's now last one, it controlled. BKB finally comes out, but it only marks his tomb. Now Yapsor on the run. Oh, secret. Not Ooh. respecting the EG combo. They're going to lose a fourth as the Kunkka wow. gets picked off to climactically end the fight. Oh, well, that will impair your vision. How about you do it first, and then as it's going, then you, you put the shades on. They're going to try to start the fight on Puppy here. Fisher comes in from Sumail. The Yule Scepter to interrupt this chain of initiation. Now the Enchant Totem comes through, but they get scared and they back away as the Black Hole's committed. But it's on a BKB clicks. He's not taking too much damage. They can look to turn this. Chunking down Universe. Mid one gets his vengeance. Now turning on the Batrider as well. He pressed his BKB. And Secret will deny EG here. Zai comes in late and he'll likely be the third down if Yepsor can get him. But he doesn't have the mana. It's Puppy charging through. Connects on two. Also finding Sumail and addition to Zai. They'd love to grab additional kills. Still though, Secret wins the team fight. They get Aegis and Cheese. And you know, they, they could kill mid one once. I don't know if they could kill him twice. Although the second time would be easier because he likely would not have a death pack. Or B50. Yeah. yeah, let's see if they can pull it off. They're down a black hole now, though. It is a pretty good time to push. However, beware the Echo Slam, which is still available for Sumail to deploy. It's EG are going to tap the Shrine, try and stay in fighting shape. They now make their move, jumping onto mid one. They want to crack him and mid break one. that Aegis early, and he will lose it. He was compromised up on the high ground. He really could have sat farther back. Double dust flying out. They're gonna try. The boat's gonna rescue them, but Burrow Strike from Zai is available. They want him, and they are gonna get him. Lasso him back, and that is gonna be killed through Aegis. And now EG, one of the best chasing team in the, with the Lycan. They will take down Puppy as well. That is a dieback. And he will blink out of time, but still Puppy gets enraged for the Nether Strike. The <laughs> Burrow gets him out to safety. Zai coming out. Clutch there, and now EG's turn to smoke. They'll make their move. Instant reply. That is putting on the shades, escaping the gang. My goodness, the timing on that. All right, here mm. we go. Perfect. 10 out of 10. The wolf is leading the scouting party as it tries to get eyes on Secret. Secret have to be careful about this initiation. They don't have a gem currently. And now in comes the Fissure to start the fight. Follow up. Onto the darks here, the Echo, hey. they commit, they hole as well, and running into it is the Spirit Breaker who can interrupt it. Universe gets off a butte, and the black hole overwhelms. Now, four have fallen, a complete route of secret. Time to get to the 20 and, and 25 and whatnot, but let's uh, have that debate for a different day as EG is. We'll put our Enigma chop shop on hold as EG make their move through the river. Ooh. Lurking on the high ground. Our game Our secret and they were scouted by a Radiant Scan but Yapsor's gonna jump in first tries to bait something out. A little extra shenanigans for him. Now Sumail confidently lumbering up with the Shiva's Ooh. Echo initiation. He gets the party started. Zai's there to follow up. Look for the hole. He's gotta find the oh. That's three. Universe you monster. How could you? Puppy and all his monitors are in shambles. Secret on the run, completely overwhelmed.
a rotation had been fought out and countered. We were talking about how EGL was playing very well with rotation. They're gonna go right into crit. Crit has a self yules. Black Hole is ready again, though. The combo's available. They gotta be careful about this puppy wants to back away, but the boat comes crashing in. What will it accomplish? Really nothing. It's a bit of a fail boat as EG just popped their BKBs and rained down pain. <laughs> Applause for Zai, patting himself on the back. And EG, hot on the chase. Secret, give up. They throw in the towel. Another loss for them, and a crucial one here. If they lose this game, too, they are guaranteed to be no... Mate, and they have to then 2-0 Liquid as well as Fnatic.